Good morning, everyone. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I wish to welcome you to our devotions this morning. I truly hope and trust and pray that you will be blessed by our devotions and that God will really speak to your heart through our devotions today. How are you doing? Are you still coping at present under the current lockdown and under the difficult circumstances we find ourselves in? My prayer for you is that God will bless you and that God will help you get through these times and that he will journey with you. This morning I just want to briefly speak to you about something and it's a wonderful psalm that I got in my devotions and I want to share it with you because I believe that it is something that applies to each and every one of us. As I mentioned in church, the church service last Sunday is that life at present is very difficult and we sometimes don't know how to get through this life and it is truly, truly difficult as I've already said. We're on a journey and we're trying to praise God and worship God and trust God but everything that life throws to us sometimes just makes our journey so much more difficult. At certain stages, and I understand this, we, we actually seem to lose track of where we are and what we are trying to do. Does this sound familiar to you? Somehow we lose sight of God and we go through life and not really knowing what to do and how to continue. Now today I want to say to you that although our journey is difficult and although we sometimes lose the path on which we must walk because of the darkness that surrounds us and the darkness that's in the world today, I want to read a psalm to you and just one verse, just a, a brief one and it's from Psalm 119. Don't worry, I'm not going to read the whole psalm because I know it is very long. But Psalm 119 and verse 105, 105. And I want you to take heart to this and I want you to hear what the psalmist writes here. He says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. You see, folks, those are beautiful words. And what the psalmist is saying to us here is that the Lord's word is a light to our feet. It is a light to our path. Why would he say this? Because remember the psalmist here is also experiencing difficulty. And what is so great in the Bible we have this constant contrast. This big struggle between light and darkness. Light being God and his word Jesus Christ. And Darkness is the evil one, chaos. And Yari says, in this world where he is, which is surrounded by darkness, evil, because evil things were carrying on in biblical times too, very, very bad. And times were no different then as what they are to us today. And he yeah, uses that contrast, that light and darkness and Without light, we cannot see where we are going. Isn't that how we feel sometimes? Because of everything that's surrounding us, the darkness, the difficulty, the anxiety, the hearts or the mourning, we somehow seem to lose track of where we are, what we are, where we are going and where we are supposed to be. And that is why the Lord gives a light to our feet. What does that mean? It's like putting a torch on your feet and pointing in the direction where we should go. But not only is it a light to our feet, it is also a light to our path. In other words, when we are in Jesus Christ, and remember, yeah, the psalmist didn't know Jesus Christ, which makes our path so much easier because, yeah, Jesus Christ hadn't been born yet to the psalmist. And yeah, he was trusting in the word of God, which in those days was only the Torah. 
and which is the the first five books of the Bible. Then eventually the prophets came onto that, and that's all they had that they could learn from um, God. So, folks, what I'm trying to say to you today is that we have it a little bit easier because we have Jesus that can show us this path. But now he says the Lord's word, Jesus Christ, to us, he lights up our path when we are in him, when we trust him and when we commit him so that we don't walk in the dark, banging our heads and banging our bodies against walls and cul-de-sacs and everything that is not right in our lives. Because life sometimes feels as if we're on a, on a road that's leading nowhere. But when Jesus lights up our path and he shows us how to walk, then we know that we are not in a dead-end street, but we are en route to live our lives, to bring Jesus all the honor and the glory. I hope and I pray that Jesus will light up your path and that you will just hold tightly onto him and journey with him because he is the one that can show you the way. Come, let us pray together. Oh, dear Lord God, we thank you for this wonderful morning, Lord. But we know everything that comes from you is good. But when we look around us and we see the evil around us and the people around us, oh Lord, we are just sometimes despondent when we see what is happening around us, Lord. Oh Lord, we see all the murder, we see the crime, we see the misjustice, we see everything that is not good. And yet, Lord, sometimes we battle to see your light in this world. Oh Lord, today we want to pray that you will help us to just focus on you and see you. And Lord, that you will light our path so that we can walk because your word is a lamp to our feet. And that means, Lord, that you will show us where you want us to go. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can trust you, Lord. We thank you that we can journey with you and that you will take us through this time. Oh Lord, we pray that you will give us cheer. We pray, Lord, that you will just give us perseverance and strength to go through this and know that everything we do will be to honor and glorify you. So, Lord, we pray your blessing and we pray that you will just journey with us. And we pray this in the name above all names, the name Jesus Christ. Amen. Folks, I wish you a wonderful week. Please remember that God is always with you. And may God bless you very richly in this week that lies ahead. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember that Jesus is only a prayer way. Goodbye now.